Brighton, Colorado has a very strong sense of community. This is a place that you're gonna live and you're not going to live around strangers. <laughs> Hey, hi, how you doing? My name is Mitch Mahaffey, your favorite redheaded realtor, and welcome or welcome back to the Living in Brighton YouTube channel. This is your number one source for all things living, working, eating, sleeping, playing, right here in Brighton, Colorado. Now, today's video, we are going to be discussing the top five reasons why you should consider moving to Brighton. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the video, but first, we have some super, super, super important information in the description, so while the video's playing, go ahead, click the description button, Give that a read for me, and when you're done with that, drop a thumbs up emoji in the comments so I know you've read it. Now let's dive into the video, five reasons why you should consider moving to Brighton. All right, now kicking us off at number five on the list, we have a absolute ton of extremely vibrant community events. Now the city of Brighton hosts a ton of events for the community throughout the year based around the seasons and the holidays. Right now, we're in the middle of summertime, so you can kick back and enjoy on a Friday night their Flicks and Kicks movie series at Carmichael Park. They typically either have a movie plan or a live band. Now, other events throughout the year are things like their Festival of Lights, which happens on December 10th, their Christmas tree lighting, 4th of July fireworks show, and Brighton Summerfest. Now, of course, all of these events are free to the public. It is a fantastic way to get out, meet new people in the community, hang out with your neighbors and your friends, and a great way to spend some time out here in Brighton, Colorado. And hey, you know what? With how great the weather is here in the summertime, in the evenings, you're not gonna wanna miss the summer movie and music series. It is an absolute blast to go to. And another fun thing to note about the Festival of Lights in December, it, it is the second largest Festival of Lights parade right here in Colorado being beat out only by of course Denver and like I mentioned previously this is a fantastic way to get out meet new people in the community spend time with friends and neighbors in the community as well and if you are just moving to Brighton or brand new to Brighton it is a fantastic way to get out and meet those new people all right now number four on our list today we have a thriving local business scene now I included this one on today's list because I am of the belief or I prefer supporting small businesses whenever possible and Brighton Colorado has absolutely no shortage of those you drive through downtown and just about every store or restaurant that you're gonna see is small family owned and operated by people that live right here in the community with you now you're gonna find everything from barbershops, boutiques and clothing stores, mechanic shops, and family owned and operated restaurants. This is a fantastic way to get out and support those that live and work right here in Brighton, Colorado with you. All right, now number three on our list, five reasons to consider moving to Brighton. We have the ability to get away or buy a piece of property or a home on land without giving up the convenience or the creature comforts that come with living in a city. Now, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we have a full length, in-depth video about all of the different farmland and acreage properties in Brighton, Colorado coming at you very soon. You're not gonna wanna miss that one, but I'm including it on today's list because Brighton has a ton of it. You go out east, take Bridge, take Bromley East, you can get up to 40, 50, 60, 80 acres of land just outside of Brighton. And what's great about that is, well, you have space to relax and enjoy. You're not gonna have your neighbor breathing down your neck or your house so close together that you can see what they're cooking for dinner. That's kind of out where my brother and I were raised. We had animals growing up. I showed in 4-H. That is a huge part of the life that I lived when we were growing up. I love it. And I loved only being 12 minutes away from all of my friends that lived right here in Brighton and still having that space growing up. It's fantastic. Not a lot of other cities right here in Colorado offer that. Now, number two on our list is a strong sense of community and a close-knit community. As we talked about specifically in last week's video and in a lot of other videos on the channel, Brighton, Colorado has a very strong sense of community. This is a place that you're gonna live and you're not going to live around strangers. You're gonna know the people that live on your street. You're gonna see your neighbors and your friends at the grocery store. It's one of those cities where everybody 
knows everybody, despite the fact that Brighton is closing in on 50 thousand residents very quickly. Now a lot of that is because of those community events that we mentioned earlier in the video and a lot of that too is you have a ton of multi-generational families that have lived in Brighton and I do mean that there are third, fourth, fifth generation Brighton residents that have lived here for a very very long time and that's really the foundation of the community out here. So if you are tired of living around strangers or not knowing who lives right next door or above or below you if you live in an apartment or a condo, Brighton is a fantastic city to consider to get away from all of that and really feel at home. Alrighty, now real quick before we jump into number one on this list, do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you're enjoying today's video so far. We've got brand new videos coming at you every single week. Now, number one on the list. Of course, we're talking real estate prices once again, like we do in most of our videos, because Brighton, Colorado offers you an incredible value for your money when it comes to buying a house right here in Brighton. Now, we love making these videos for you guys, but we would love nothing more but to help you out when it comes time to buy a home right here in Brighton, especially once we talk more about those prices. Call us, text us, numbers on the screen, days, nights, weekends, we've got your back. Now, the reason I say real estate is more affordable in Brighton or your money goes a lot further right here in Brighton is because I'm living that fact very well. We can look at the numbers, we can look at the data all day, and in fact, I've got that data for you. The average price of a single family residence is $588,000. The median cost of a single family residence in Brighton is 540. Now, if you're watching this video, moving from somewhere in the Midwest or somewhere a lot cheaper, yeah, that might sound expensive. If you're moving from a more expensive market, say Atlanta or somewhere in Florida, or our friends that live in cities in Texas that have called us, that's relatively inexpensive compared to some of those other big cities. Now, when you compare Brighton, Colorado's real estate to the rest of the 11 county Denver metro area, you are saving, and I'm not exaggerating this, 150 to $200,000 on average for the same size house. Now I say I'm living this right now because my fiance and I are currently building a house right here local to Brighton, Colorado. Like we mentioned in other videos, we live here, we work here, we play here, buy our gas here, buy our groceries here. Brighton's home to us. And when we were shopping, we looked at a lot of other cities. I mean, Colorado's a big state, there's lots of places to go, but we settled right here on Brighton because the house we were getting for the same purchase price as even Thornton, 10 minutes west, we were getting a much nicer quality house built by a much more reputable builder. Because of the age of Brighton, you have a ton of older, more mature neighborhoods with absolutely beautiful trees, beautiful landscaping, and tons of options there for no matter what type of lifestyle you wanna live. You wanna live downtown Brighton? Great, you have tons of options. They're not cookie cutter houses. They've got character, they've got class, they've got charm, it's fantastic. If you're like me, I am personally love new builds, love new construction, love that entire process. That's what I love doing, that's why I'm buying a new build. You have tons of new construction options further east in Brighton, out by Prairie Center, out by 50th, near those railroad tracks that we mentioned you have to cross to get out to all those acreage properties. There really is something for everybody in all price points right here in Brighton, and it's a tremendous value for your money. Now, as you continue to do more research on Brighton, Colorado, we've got a couple videos popping up on screen to make that easier on you. And like I just mentioned, when it does come time to make the move to Brighton, Colorado, we'd love nothing more than to make that become a reality. Call us, text us, ask the number on the screen, days, nights, weekends, whatever time we've got your back when moving to Brighton. 